Hi guys, have you encountered this error working with Elementor? Probably you might have been working and you suddenly start getting the error telling you that the preview cannot be loaded, could not be loaded. Now um, in this video, I'm going to give you a quick fix on how to solve this problem. And I can guarantee you that this fix is going to solve your problem. Without any further ado, let's go to straight into the tutorial. Hello guys, you're welcome. This is Kingsley from Blast Channel. In case you just joining me for the first time, please ensure you subscribe to my channel and also don't forget to hit on the notification bell so that you can notify each time I upload new video or so that you'll be the first to get notified whenever I upload content like this. Now, if you're facing this error, what you're going to do, you can see, let me refresh the site, this particular site so that you actually take notice uh, so that you'll be sure that yeah this error i'm actually experiencing it so that it don't look as if maybe i just i uh, actually i wasn't experiencing this er particular error and i started recording the video so i'm going to show i'm trying to refresh the website the site so that you'll be able to see that truly i'm actually experiencing this error and i'm going to walk you through on how to fix this particular particular error so let's just see how everything goes so you can see after loading you can see this is what i came up with it actually it still gave me this particular error so now let's try something else now if you notice if i should click on this safe mode it's actually going to load this my this particular page out for me like for example let me try something now let me go to elementor and go to tools once you do i click on that then i come to safe mode i'm going to enable safe mode and see once i click on enable safe mode and click on save changes so let's once that is saved now let's try something now let's refresh this page and see you will notice that by the time i refresh it everything will be normal so you can see that after everything it loaded successfully now but you can see this because of it's actually working on safe mode some of my works are not showing so now i'm going to go ahead and deactivate this safe mode again i'm going to deactivate it and save it so i'm going to deactivate it and save it so by the time i do this you uh, refresh this particular page is going to still come up with that particular error again so now how do we go about fixing this particular error so now this can be in this error most cases can be as a result of conflict between your elemental plugin and probably some of your plugins on your website and sometimes used to be your team so now what you're going to do now we are going to try first of all try let me try you are going to try up deactivating your team maybe using a different team to see how it looks like so now i'm going to now go ahead and go to my teams so i'll go to appearance when you go to appearance i'm going to try this i'll go and go to teams you can see after refreshing this was it was still giving this error so i'm going to now click here i'm going to go that's to the teams it's still loading so now you can see these are the teams i was actually using so now i'm going to now deactivate uh, another team this hello teams by elemental i'm going to activate it and see you can see by the time i activate this particular team you're still going to give this error so let's let it activate and i'll refresh that particular page so that you see how it looks like so now you can see the team is activated so now by the time i refresh this page now you are going to see it's going to still give me this particular error so you can see after still refreshing it's still giving me this error so now how do we solve this problem so now let's now try something else again let me go to where our now i'm going to activate back my team again because probably what we am the issue i'm actually having now uh, from what i just did now i've discovered that it is not from the team so i'm going to now go ahead to ch try the my plugins because now this might be as a result of the plugin let's now go to plugins and see so i'm going to now scroll down and go to my where i have my plugins and click on 
install plugins so when i click on install plugins now what i'm going to be doing you can try by probably if you can remember the last time you actually the your site was working perfectly it might be as a result maybe from a plugin you actually updated uh that is causing the conflict with your elemental plugin with your elemental or maybe an, a plugin you just installed on your website that is actually giving that that conflict so now let's what you are going to be doing now you are going to try and deactivate this plugin one after the other and see the particular one that is actually giving this error so now you can start by deactivating it one after the other deactivate and activate it back so now let's try something now i'm going to try i want to try something now let me try by deactivating this and see by the time i deactivate this and refresh this particular place can see trying to see how it goes so we'll just wait for it to finish loading so you can see after doing that it's still showing the error so i'm going to go ahead and activate this particular plugin back so definitely the issue wasn't from this plugin so i'm going to now go ahead to deactivate another one so i'm going to do go down till i get the particular one so i'm going to go ahead and deactivate this now i'm going to refresh this particular site so once i refresh you can see you will still let's see if it's going to actually fix the error for us or not you can see it's still not working so now i'm going to quickly activate it back and try and deactivate some couples of login and see so you can just try out and keep on deactivating and see you, you get get to notice the particular plugin that is actually giving an error but from my own research from my own test over here i noticed that it was this particular let me deactivate this as so that you see how it what happens this is let me deactivate this here amp plugin so let me deactivate it and now refresh this particular site and see although sometimes this particular error can be maybe from your hosting so sometimes but in most cases it used to be actually from mostly your plugins and your teams as long as elementor was working before now and all of a sudden you encounter this then definitely it's definitely from your plugins maybe from plugins or from teams you can see if after deactivated that plugin from what we are i'm having here you can see that my website has actually loaded for me so now you, you discover that this error was actually from my team from my that in this particular plugin this was the one that was actually giving that error so now you can see that based on what i've done now and discovered this was the plugin that was giving that error so now you can just contact the developer of this plugin and notify them that this plugin is having conflict with your website yes with elemental page builder so from their end they'll be able to see how to fix it from their own end and probably roll the update so you can make use of it so i think i just wanted to share this quick fix because i discovered this was i discovered this challenge on my website so i just said i should quickly show you how you can go about fixing this particular error some errors like this on your website so in case this particular fix did not work out for you please just drop in the comment box below so that you let me know so that i can see how to come up with other solutions to solving your issue and again if you have any video idea you want me to actually work on or any challenge you want me to work on you can just drop in the comment box below i'll also try my best to see how to tackle it until next time this is where i'm going to stop and if you're still watching my video till now and you're you've not yet considered subscribing to my channel please hit on the subscribe button and don't forget to turn on the notification bell so that you get notified anytime i upload new videos like this until next time bye for now